month is after me briars and i can't believe i'm saying this but it's actually briar first week so it is the wednesday of briar first week my instagram is just full of people heading to kentucky and i am incredibly jealous so this year i have done my own little clarion purchase which is going to be the purpose of this video and i'm super excited as this is a horse i have been wanting for so so long the UK is doing its own little heat wave, so we can pretend we're in Kentucky over here. And I also thought I would show you, in my excitement, my little Georg, who is dressed in this little Briarfest themed halter that I made for him. And he's also wearing this really adorable scarf made by Mr. Bobby's Woolies on Instagram. And um, I think she's still selling these through Briarfest, I believe. So do go and check her out. They're a really cute little memento. And I think look adorable on this Georg, Georg model. Um, anyway, let's get to the point of today's video. So this is my Clarion purchase for the year. So if you don't know what the Clarion is, if you're kind of new to Briarfest, the Clarion is actually a hotel that's in Kentucky. And during Briarfest, people will go there and open up their rooms and sell models. So everyone flocks to the Clarion looking for good secondhand deals and grails. Um, so I'm kind of emulating the Clarion by buying something off eBay that is a model horse grail. Um, so I'm super excited to open this horse. It's one I have wanted since I've been back in the hobby, um, but I just haven't been able to sort of justify buying him, um, which might give you a little clue that it's a him. Um, I found him for a good price. Um, I'm not saying he's cheap, he is definitely still the most expensive horse I have ever bought and my bank account is currently crying which is not great in the lead up to Briarfest but I just couldn't say no, I like did lots of research about what he was going for and I felt the price and the time was okay so here we are, I'm unboxing him and I am so so excited for Briarfest, um, I'm working the Friday um, so I'm going to be a little bit behind like joining the live streams and stuff online but luckily I have a lovely fiance who is going to be buying my models whilst I'm at work for me who's got like a proper list and everything and so hopefully I can grab what I want okay so we've got all the bubble wrap in here the seller has also like lined the box with bubble wrap which is good and nice of her she did say she was going to pack him like super super well so I'm really hoping that she has uh, oh we have our horse in here okay let's get into this I feel like this horse feels like a much smaller than I was expecting like wrapped in bubble wrap I don't know I don't know what, what I was expecting um I don't currently have any models on this mold so this model will be my first on the mold and it's also the first time I've seen this model in person, but I've never seen one. So I'm really super duper excited to see what this looks like. Um, I wonder what everyone else is going to get up to over Briarfest. I'm like super excited to see all the vlogs and like people's experience videos back at the horse park because I love watching those. But I also would love to see if you're doing an online Briarfest experience like me. If you do make a vlog, then definitely tag me in them. Um, because I do love watching those and I will be making my own like online Briarfest experience which is going to be super super exciting okay we're getting through the layers the seller has definitely wrapped this horse really really well which is great there's been like at least like three or four layers of bubble wrap so I'm trying to get through it without being too uncareful um, oh, we're on the last layer, so I'm going to be super careful at this point because I really don't want to scratch this model accidentally with my scissors. Oh my god, I can't, <laughs> I can't believe I'm opening this model. Like, oh, so exciting. So, I'm all ready for a big reveal, hopefully. Oh, I need to just do a little bit more snipping. Okay, are we ready for the reveal? Oh, it's stuck. Here we go. I bought myself an Alborozo. I'm so, so excited. Oh my goodness. This horse 
is amazing. Oh my god, he is so beautiful. I um I don't even know what to say. Like this horse, I have always been like I really like him, but I kind of feel he's overrated. Like I don't understand why people pay so much money for him, but I am super super happy with him. He is so so nice. Oh wow! I like I wasn't entirely a hundred percent sure of his condition either. Um, I could see from the pictures that like there was no major flaws or anything but I was kind of worried that I was going to spend all this money and like then suddenly find a load of flaws but he's only got like a teeny teeny weeny nose rub which I think I can fix up and a tiny little rub on his eye but that's on its off side so there's only like the teeniest marks on him like it's only because I'm looking really really closely at him that I can tell but on his show side he is absolutely flawless so I think I'm going to touch up those two tiny tiny little rubs and take him live showing next month because I not next month it's this month it's two weeks um this two weeks because I absolutely love him like okay he is not overrated he's such a cool model it's just stuff like the detail on him so I absolutely love that he's got this like flicky out mane um which just gives him like some dynamic I love his face he is beautiful I love his pose and Spanish horses are probably one of my favorite types of horse I love draft horses but if it's not drafts it's Spanish horses for me um like I would say Alborozo is probably like one of those horses that you would dream about and I cannot believe I'm holding one I'm super excited I got him from the UK as well because I haven't seen one for the UK for sale in a very long time and the last one I saw the sale was about £200 more expensive than I paid for this guy. So I am so, so excited. He is the best Clarion purchase ever for me. He would be what I'd be looking for if I was in the Clarion Hotel in Kentucky. So it's nice I've got him and I, he is going to be spending this Briar Fest probably glued to my side because I am literally obsessed. Like even his paint job is just so, so nice. Like he's got real subtle dappling like some leg barring he is so nice for a celebration model if you don't know much about Alborozo if you're new to the hobby um Alborozo was the 2008 Briar Fest celebration model so the model you got with your ticket but he was special in that Briar actually destroyed the mold for the traditional so essentially no other traditional models will be made on this mold it was a one-off production it was an agreement I think between Briar um, and the horse's owner and the sculptor that the mold would be destroyed so the mold was completely wrecked we are not going to see any more runs of this Alborozo mold there might be a few auction models that pop up but this mold is not going to be mass produced again so it's really really nice to have him and he is very sought after like a lot of people don't tend to sell him from their collections and I certainly don't intend on selling him now I have him um and a lot of people also customise these, so the amount of them has gone down over the years. Some of them have been played with, so their body quality. So finding a good quality Alborozo is a real nightmare and unfortunately very expensive. But I am super, super happy to have him. What a great way to start my Briar Fest. So I hope you've enjoyed having a little look at my carry-on purchase with me. I'm, I'm sorry if this has been like an incoherent babbling. I'm just super excited to have this horse with me. It's been really warm in the UK, so I believe it's going to get up to like 34 degrees Celsius here on the Sunday of Briarfest. So it's going to be super hot, um, which is guess is going to emulate the experience further. But I'm mainly planning to just enjoy all the content from Briarfest as I say. My fiancé is hopefully going to do my shopping for me while I'm at work. Fingers crossed the store all works with no glitches or anything. So I'm just going to come back and enjoy the content, do some tack making just to finish up a few things for my live show, um, do some packing and some tagging for that live show. So I'm going to be spending most of my weekend watching the content whilst doing model horse stuff. I'm planning on doing two workshops as well because that's one of my favourite things about Briarfest. So it's going to be a busy weekend. I'm probably going to have um, Georg join me as a little mascot as well as Alborozo. So those two might be my like model mascots. 
Um, but let me know if you're excited for Briarfest in the comments. I know I certainly am and I cannot wait to join in with the hobby over the weekend. I think there's going to be some fantastic content. We're going to see some new releases hopefully announced by Briar and it's just such a great time of the year to be a model horse collector. Um, even if you can't go to the Kentucky Horse Park like me, it's just still an infectious time of the year, I guess. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed unpacking my lovely, beautiful Alvarozo, who I am now obsessed with and also bankrupt, but it was worth it. And so take care and I will see you probably in my next video, which will be my Briarfest 2022 vlog. And um, have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you soon. <laughs>